Rebecca Zung is a family law attorney, a best-selling author, and co-host of Breaking Free, a modern divorce podcast. She's been following their case closely. What struck me about the Brad and Angelina case is that we have a judge who actually said, Angelina, you give time sharing to Brad or I'm stripping your custody. And that tells me that we have a judge who understands the impact and the gravity of parental alienation. Every single person who has ever walked through my doors and interviewed me as a new client has said, I don't wanna fight. You know, I always say you don't learn from the easy times in your life, you learn from the tough times in your life. That which doesn't kill you, I think makes you better, not just stronger. Absolutely, why, why has change such a tough well, thing Well, I think accept? people fear divorce for a variety of reasons. They're afraid they're not gonna see their kids as much. They're afraid they're not gonna have enough money. They're afraid they're gonna be alone for the rest of their lives. So a lot of different reasons to fear being divorced. But um, I think that the best way to combat that is through empowering yourself with knowledge but what I call the divorce paradox is that at the worst, most traumatic time of your life, it, you know, death and divorce are always at the top yeah. of every list, you have to be thinking the most clearly that you've ever thought because you have to make decisions about the things that are most important to you, your money, your children, your home, that sort of thing. So it's so critical that you have a support team. I decided to write a book on the subject because I have so many clients who are dealing with this. It's one of the the most traumatic things people deal with in their lives outside of maybe death and yet there was no go-to resource for them and I decided to create one for my clients and for everybody else who's going through it. And it's so. interesting that the the highest divorce filings are in January I mean I think it seems pretty obvious it's after the holidays. Well the statistics are pretty staggering and it's it's more than 50 percent of first marriages, 67 percent of second marriages and 73 percent of third marriages. I've had guys who've come in and and said you know we've been living in separate bedrooms for years or separate households or whatever and they're ready to go I've also had people come in and say he wants a divorce I don't want it I still love him he even has a new girlfriend but I still want him I still want him I still want him and I think why why do you want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you there's no power in that and if they're not feeling empowered and and in a relationship that's serving their soul then they should look to to do something to break themselves free you're actually a what you call a divorce transformation strategist I never knew that existed I offer divorce resources online at breakingfreefromdivorce.com I have modules there videos paperwork all kinds of things because I don't feel that it's been fair that the non-moneyed spouse does not have access to good resources and so now I provide virtual training programs oh. for women um, online mm -hmm. so anybody in the country would be able to have access to me you yourself went through a divorce now you work as a divorce attorney so what kind of perspective can you offer people in this book do you think that they might not be able to find elsewhere I decided to write it not just from a legal perspective in the physical part of the divorce uh, what I call it, the physical part that's the legal part and I do give legal advice but I also offer emotional advice and also spiritual advice for spirit, uh, freeing your spirit going forward and, and the reason why I do that is because I myself have experienced all of the emotions that one needs to get through to get complete in order to be able to feel whole. What I want the message to be is that it can mean opportunity. It can mean an opportunity to have a better life, to create a life that you want. There's no power in being in a dysfunctional relationship.